Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial video for the Animal Behavior Kit. In this video, we'll be taking a look at groups. We'll take a look at how to create a new group from scratch, and we'll learn how to use the Group Manager, which is a separate blueprint that manages how the individual group uh, shares targets and behaviors, and how it chooses uh, the leader of the group. So let's go ahead and jump into Unreal. Uh, and really quickly before we start uh, working on our group, I do want to mention uh, that I made a small change between this video and the last. And that is because uh, Epic Games is in right now in the process of doing a final review for ABK before it can be published. And they've asked me to make a few changes uh, to the kit. One of those changes was uh, they wanted me to rename the top folder from ABK to Animal Behavior Kit. Uh, so if you pay close attention, you'll notice that uh, in the previous videos, I keep talking about ABK. Uh, so please note that when I say ABK, now what I mean is uh, the top folder called Animal Behavior Kit. Uh, there's one extra thing. Uh, I had some technical uh, difficulties, and unfortunately, I actually lost the tutorial level, so I had to quickly recreate it. So... I think I got it pretty close to what I've had before, but I'm sure you'll notice some subtle differences where the, the trees and the bushes are, for example. Uh, that shouldn't uh, matter really uh, as we go forward with the different tutorials because uh, the actual placement of foliage and things like that doesn't really matter. Uh, but nonetheless, I wanted to make sure that, uh, that I pointed that out. So, all right. So let's go ahead and focus on our little doe here on the map. Uh, and right now, we only have one uh, deer, bp underscore doe underscore tutorial. And if you recall, uh, we added a need system uh, from a previous video. So the first thing we'll do is we want to make sure that we go under components, click on comp need system, and deactivate the need system. Right now, we just want to focus on how to create a group, and we want to see how the group behaves. Later on, towards the end of the series, we'll take a look at how we can combine different systems to create our own uh, custom behavior, right? Uh, but right now, make sure that it is deactivated. And since we're already here, click on the Add Components button and just type Group. And you'll see that we have BP Comp Group. And right here, uh, you'll see that we have, whoops, that we have a few options under Setup. Just like the need system, uh, you have a Boolean called active. Every single system that is an actor component has this option here that allows you to turn on and off individual systems. The second uh, option here is that uh, we need a reference to what we call a group manager. Right now you see that it's empty. Uh, then we have an option to uh, assign this uh, animal, whether it's the group leader or not. And then we have a max leader distance. And if I hover my mouse over, you can see exactly what it is. Is the max distance from the leader when moving towards the leader. And all of that is going to make sense uh, in just a couple of minutes. So right now, before we go on, let's go ahead and create that group manager. So if we are at the top level, Animal Behavior Kit now, we can go to Blueprints, AI, Actors, ground AI and then you'll see that we have BP group manager go ahead and drag that to your level I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here and this is going to be the group manager for this group of deer um, so now let's go back to our deer and go back to the component group and now under group manager if you click on the little arrow now you'll see that we can actually select this group manager here. In a real uh, world scenario, when you have several groups in your level, you may want to use the eyedropper tool to select the specific group manager for that group. All right. Now that we have that, we want to go ahead and select our dough and we're going to duplicate her. So uh, go ahead and click uh, and hold Alt and we're just going to drag and we're going to do that a few more times here. All right, so we have four. And now that we have these, let's go back to the, to the first uh, uh, dough, go back to comp group, 
and now make her the group leader by ticking the option here. All right, so let's take a quick moment to, to kind of understand the logic behind the groups, right? So what is a group in ABK? Uh, the whole idea here is that a group is obviously, as the name sounds, uh, a, a group of animals, right? A collection of animals of AI that move and, and behave, you know, together, right? Uh, so how does the movement work? The whole idea is that each group has a group leader and that leader will uh, will move around the map as it normally would following its, uh, its um, roam behavior and the rest of the group will follow the leader. So because this uh, doe right here is the leader, we can actually select any of, of all of the options here for, the, for her roam behavior and effectively, the group will follow that roam behavior. So right now, if we have her uh, go to a random location in NavMesh, she will go ahead and do that, and the rest of the group will simply follow her. We can do the same thing if we want to constrain the group to, to a volume. We can do location within bounds. We can do random waypoint. We can even have the group follow a path, right? Any of these movement um, options, any of these roam behaviors, that affects the leader will basically affect the entire group. Now, what happens when uh, the group or one of the group member engages, right? And that's where we have the engaged behavior. And that's really where the group manager comes in. The idea here is that the, all of the members of one group will share uh, information about uh, their engaged target and they will all engage together. So this is very similar to a lot of popular uh, RPGs or if you've ever played MMOs like World of Warcraft, sometimes you'll have a group of mobs of, of, of animals, NPCs, and if one member of the group sees you, the entire group will actually aggro on you, will get aggressive, even though maybe all of the other members of the group didn't actually detect you, right? So that's the whole idea here. You can have a group of X number of members, and if one member of the group detects you or another AI, right, it be basically becomes engaged, it'll automatically send a signal to the uh, group manager and the group manager will, will relay that information to all of the group members, effectively having all of the group members engage. So if you have an aggressive enemy uh, and one of those guys in the group spots you, the entire group will actually become aggressive towards you and come and attack you. On the other hand, if the behavior is to flee and one member spots you, the entire group will actually flee, right, when they see you. So that's the idea. So again, to recap, the movement is uh, governed by the roam behavior of the leader. However, the engaged behavior uh, is shared among the group. And actually, we have three distinct ways of uh, sharing that roam behavior. And if we click here on the group manager, we'll see that we have what we call an engaged behavior method. In other words, what method are we going to use to allow the entire group to engage together? And if you click on the drop down here, you'll see that we have three options and we're gonna go sequentially here. We're gonna see exactly what happens. The very first option and the default is use group engage behavior. In other words, you can actually specify what will be the engaged behavior of the group. So in this case, group engaged behavior, and if you click here, you'll see that you have the exact same options for the group as if you would click on the animal. So right now, let's go ahead and click on flee. The entire group will now flee when one of the members engages. However, notice that if I click on any of these guys, their individual engage behavior is ignore. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and control select all of them. So you can see that the entire group, all of them have an engaged behavior of ignore. However, the uh, group manager will override that engaged behavior and say, no, actually, you guys are going to flee. Really quickly before we hit play and we actually see what's gonna happen, uh, you can actually have the group manager select a random leader if, if you wish, 
right? You don't have to explicitly do it. If you want, uh, if you select this option, you can actually have the uh, manager select a new leader uh, every X amount of seconds. So in this case, you can, you can uh, in this case, every 600 seconds, the group manager will select a new random leader. So you can have that as an option. You also have by default, the option called no damage by members. In other words, if the group members, for example, do AOE damage, like we saw in a previous video, and they all bunch up together attacking a prey, for example, they will not hurt each other as long as this option is selected. And by default, I think that's usually the behavior you want. If you uncheck this, uh, the, the group members can hurt each other uh, if they get in each other's way. And finally, we have a group tag, and we definitely want to make sure that we add a group here. And if you hover your mouse over, you'll see why we need that tag. And it says this tag identifies all members of the group so they cannot engage each other. In other words, what this does is it adds that tag to each individual. So if they uh, detect each other within the group, they're actually not they don't engage, right? They basically ignore each other uh, for purposes of the AI perception. And that again is important. You don't want uh, the, the you know, infighting within the group. So let's go ahead and give it a unique identifier. In this case, it's gonna be group one. It can be whatever you want, it's just a tag. And now I'm gonna go ahead and click on uh, save all. And uh, I am going to start a little far because before I go and get close, I want to see how the group behaves, right? So if I go ahead and click play and we eject, we're going to zoom in here. You'll see that the leader has a little L on at the beginning of the name, right? In parentheses, that's L for leader and then the name. And you'll see that the leader is just moving around within the map uh, with, a, with the behavior of select a random location in NavMesh. And the rest of the group is just following the leader. So you can see here, the leader is just moving and the rest are just following. And you can see that they actually detected the player uh, and they ran away. Um, so let's go ahead and possess here and let's get close to the group and see what happens. Notice that all of them engage. You see there, they all become um, engaged and they're sharing that behavior, even though individually, their engaged behavior was what to ignore, right? So that's uh, the default behavior. You want to overwrite the engaged behavior for the group. And you can see that they all engage even when only one member of the group is, um, is engaged. So let's go back, focus here to our group manager and look at the second option here. So great. So you can you can specify what group engage behavior you want, and obviously you can have it ignore, you can have it attack, etc. The other behavior is use the leader engage behavior, right? So that's a little different. So what this is going to do basically is is going to detect the engage behavior of the leader, and then set the same engage behavior to the rest of the group. So right now. Like I, like I mentioned before, if I select all of the members, we see that all of them have an engaged behavior of ignore. So we know that the first one here is the leader. So we are only going to change the engaged behavior of the leader. And let's go ahead and select uh, attack just to, to have it a little different. Um, now, what's going to happen is as soon as I click play and I get close to the group, they are all now coming to attack me. So you can see here, they're barely doing any damage, but because look at, look at my health at the top left, they're doing very little damage, but um, they're all attacking me. They're all becoming aggressive. Why? Because the engaged behavior of the leader was attack, even though all of the other ones were ignore. So that's another interesting option, right? In that case, whatever the leader is, that'll be the behavior of the group. Keep in mind that if you want the, the manager to select a random leader 
and each member individually has a different engaged behavior, what you're effectively doing is you are randomizing the engaged behavior of the group because every time a new leader is selected, that leader's engaged behavior then will be uh, populated through the rest of the group. All right. Third option is use individual engaged behaviors. And what this does is exactly what it sounds like. In this case, each individual member will engage as it is uh, specifically uh, uh, um, selected, right? And I don't think I said that correctly, but basically uh, what this is going to do is it's not going to overwrite the engaged behavior. Each member will engage with whatever option they have selected here. So in this case, this guy here is attack. Let's go ahead and select two and three and have the uh, flee. And the fourth one is going to be um, ignore. So right now we have attack, flee, and ignore. And we have the use individual engage behavior. So right now what's going to happen if I click play is you can see that the leader is attacking me. Two of those, uh, uh, those are, are running away. And the third one here is just ignoring me and is just standing there. So that is another option, right? Uh, that was a use case that I got actually from a user uh, comment in, um, I believe it was on Discord or maybe on one of the YouTube comments that said, hey, wouldn't it be cool uh, if the leader of the group attacks or, or, or is aggressive and the rest of the group kind of flees, right? That is that behavior now is now possible with this setting, right? So if you have a really aggressive leader, that leader will attack and then the rest of the group will flee, right? Uh, or defend or hide or whatever you want. Um, great. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, I don't need to really go over some of the options here. I mean, this is pretty, pretty obvious. If you select this option um, and you ch change the rate, it'll just pick a random uh, leader for every X amount of seconds here. And you'll see that the name will change with the L and that's how you know that the leader will, will change. Uh, but this is the basic functionality of the groups. Remember, every group in your level needs its own group manager, okay? Because this is the conduit uh, through, through which all of the group members communicate. Remember, every time one of the group member engages, it lets the rest of the members know that they also need to engage, and they do that through their group manager. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much it for groups. Uh, thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.